Hello, my name is Živor Admiric, aka DJ Lion. I'm half Serbian, half Bulgarian, based in Berlin and locked down in Copangan. In the scene since 25 years, owner of Patent Skills Records, graduated of uh, SAE Institute Berlin. My name is uh, Julian, I'm a DJ Judge Julian. I'm a co-founder of Lost Paradise. I'm born in France, but I'm living in Copenhagen, in Thailand. This is Peter Arnold from Berlin. I'm a DJ, producer and resident at Carte Blau. I have my own record label with my friends Anders, Noria Q together. I really liked to listen music when I was young and I had luck that my parents had a big collection of cassettes. Yeah, I made my collection, one, two, three cassettes, start to go to some teenage birthday parties. And this is where I first time spontaneously play my cassettes. Later on, uh, it was open uh, the uh, club where I started to go more professional and so on. I discovered electronic music like 20 years ago. It was psytrance music. After that, I started to, uh, to go in party, going in festival every summer. I used to play trance progressive. Then um, slowly, slowly, I, I discovered techno, house, tech house, and uh, slowly changed change my style. During Lost Paradise party, I invite uh, DJ Lion to play. And I think I was playing already since like three, four hours. And uh, DJ Lion came to me and asked me if he could plug with me and playing back to back. So I was like, mm, okay, let's do this. And yeah, I think this is how the how it all started. Yeah. It started for me at the bar 25. I used to live there for five years in a camper, in the community. I started working behind the bar. And 2006 was my best friend's birthday. And uh, my present was for her my first life act. So I played the life act and it was amazing. And then felt I need to practice more and have to build on on it more and yeah that's what I did and in the meantime I co-founded the Bar 25 label. 2009 I um, played my first DJ set then at the Bar 25 and it was amazing I got like uh, requests directly afterwards and played I think one month later the first international gig or like two months later so in Belgium and then, yeah, it's start rolling. Yeah, it means a lot also for artists to be supported by someone who is already big or long time in the scene, like uh, Richie Hotin, Carl Cox, even uh, like pop rock artist uh, Moby, who charted my music. I don't have biggest inspiration. I get inspired from almost from everything, you know. It's not about what's happening in my day. But um, yeah, I will say uh, Peter Griffin from Family Guy. And of course, uh, Goofy. Mm, my biggest inspiration is Sasha Carver. He has a studio next to me and he is my mentor. And I learn a lot from him. He's doing, he's a good producer, he's a great producer. I had a booking in Berlin playing in a very special party, underground Berlin party called uh, Betrips Fire. It was 16th birthday of the party. On the boat, I realized that I have album ready, album out and I'm playing and headlining one of the best parties in Berlin. It was, I performed four hours, only my music mixed with the album, and it was very special. I think the, the last good memory was um, um, Lost Paradise after COVID. People didn't party for months, so we have like 1,000 people from everywhere in Thailand, they come. This was special too, because with DJ Lion, we did our first live. It was very stressful, but after that it was, um, was fun.
amazing one was for me garbage 2016 i played the closing from the white floor it was so intense some high energy so many friends supported me and we never forgot it, this one and on my first set at burning man i went three times to burning man and the first one uh i also will never forget i've never seen something like this before and uh yeah my favorite venue definitely is lost paradise kopangan thailand the energy of this place it's very hard to describe the feeling the positive vibes from people from all around the world you feel free you're lost and you're in paradise my favorite club is definitely uh, Lost Paradise. Not only because it's the party that I co found, but uh, the place, it's amazing, it's on the beach. There is nobody around, there is no road, so you have to take a truck and do like 40 minutes in the jungle, or take a boat, and you have 20 minute boat. People who come there, they know why they come there, you know? My favorite club is Caterblau. Definitely combination of both. For me, analog is very new. I didn't know analog at all. Two months ago, we buy two machines, the uh, Roland T8 uh, here and uh, this Roland Bestline here. Combination of, of both, it's, uh, it's amazing, yeah. It's actually how we start to play now with uh, Lion. Analog or digital, um, there we can discuss and uh, talk about forever. So, I make it short, digital. Definitely my secret uh, trick that I don't think, I don't plan. I create a chaos with sounds and afterwards I clean and control the chaos. So I rely on my taste. I don't rely on my knowledge. I think I almost learned everything from uh, my friend, from DJ Lion. And I still want to learn a lot from him. So um, next question. Keep yourself so busy, loving your life. There's no time for regrets, hate, or fear. My advice is to, 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 to start just working. Don't think, just go for it. Follow your taste. There are no rules as long as you like it. And being honest, slowly you will find the weaknesses of uh, your taste, kind of, and your knowledge. Ask yourself which music make you, make, makes you happy, what inspires you. Go party, yeah. go dance, go on the dance floor, you know. Music is to feel the vibe of, uh, of the dance floor. Practice, practice, practice. Uh, love yourself and collaborate. Um, you always learn from each other. Be open to try out new things.